la la la
Mother Nature's child of one. Misty morning fog. Tender sings the warmth of the sun. Let the river know. The secrets flow through everyone. Mother, please carry us home. Ocean of life, something for us all to be, changing our lives in patterns plain and endless. And the reasons why are pulling at our hearts so deep. Mother, please bring us peace and give us light to. Mother, please bring us peace and give us light to see. Close your eyes and see the truth beyond your fear. She will rise. Her endless love was always here. As she whispers on the wind, listen to her words. So clean, Mother, please give us wings. Redemption time is near. Mother, please give us wings. Redemption time is near. Our cry rings on. Patiently she dries all our tears. After all these years, but is the love she gives in vain wasted on souls who will not fear? Mother, please give us eyes to understand what is real. Mother, please give us eyes to understand. Touching our hearts, Mother Nature's child of one. Will you face the questions that haunt everyone? And will the answers that you find take you beyond your mind? Mother, in your grace, save the human Mother in your grave, save the
Vishwamadaji, we'll start the meditation. आज के मेडिटेशन की शुरुआत करते हैं द म्यूजिक विच वी हर्ड इज फ्रॉम साइज योगा डायरेक्टेड बाई बाबा मामा दैट इज श्री माता जी स्प्रद एंड परफॉर्म बाय साइज योगिस वेस्टर्न साइज योगिस सो फुल सिटी विच इज नॉन एस यूनिवर्सल साइलेंस So now we'll continue with our meditation. The way we which we are doing on the pithas to complete the all the seven nine pithas. So we are listening to the universal silence. The bhajan is Baba Ma. मामा जो शिवाजी के ब्रदर हैं उन्होंने डायरेक्ट किया था सारे वेस्टर्न सर्जन भी गा रहे थे उसमें और म्यूजिक दे रहे थे सो वेरी ब्यूटीफुल सॉन्ग्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद अवर मेडिटेशन लेट अस रेस अवर कुंडलिनी गिव पंदन एंड विल बिगिन अवर मेडिटेशन मैं आपको पंदन में बांध देते हैं कुंडलिनी को रेस करें So very important meditation is going on this days. Let's all focus on our chakras. Yesterday we had a meditation on we should the Agni and Sarasrara. Today we are going to meditate on Muladhar and Sarasrara. That is Brahmarantra, the fr the first and the last. So let's enjoy this meditation. आज का मेडिटेशन की शुरुआत करते हैं आज हम मुलादार और सरस्टार पे ध्यान करेंगे और कल हमने विशुद्धि आग्नि और सरस्टार पे ध्यान किया था सारे मेडिटेशन बहुत महत्वपूर्ण होते हैं उसमें मंत्र भजन म्यूजिक माँ के लक्ष्य प्रार्थना सब कुछ हम करते हैं हमें कुछ भी नहीं करना है सिर्फ सुनना है और चित्त को माँ के ऊपर छोड़ना है बस We don't need to do anything. Just listen and live. Keep our attention on Shri Mata Ji. Remember, the main objective of our meditation is to become one with the divine, achieve the state of the spirit with the help of our nirvichar and nirvikalpa samadhi. Now, याद रखना है ध्यान के वक्त कि हम ध्यान में सिर्फ आँखे बंद नहीं करें करके रखें, लेकिन हमें एक परमात्मा को प्राप्त करना है। हमारे आत्मा के सहारा लेकर और निर्विचार निर्विकल्प समाधि में जाकर के परमात्मा को प्राप्त करना है इस आत्मा स्वरूप सो लेट एस पुट बोथ ऑफ द हैंड्स टू अश्व माता जी पुट वन कैंडल इन फ्रंट ऑफ अ लेफ्ट हैंड एंड देन वी विल स्टार्ट 
दोनों हाथ श्री मंदिर के और रखे बाया हाथ के सामने एक मोमबत्ती जला करके रखे और माँ के सामने बैठे आराम से Let's forget everything which is surrounding our world. सब हमारे दुनिया में जो भी कुछ हो रहा है हमारे निजी जिंदगी में जो भी कुछ हो रहा है उसको सब भूल जाना है बस ध्यान में बैठ So let's do it. So first, the prayers. Attention on Muladhar and Sastra. Shumadaji, Yadu Shakti Ma, by your please. Make me innocence, Shumata ji. Hey, Adi Shakti Ma, by your grace, please make me innocent. Remember, we are not saying this to ourselves. We are asking to Shumata ji. These are prayers which we have to ask. We are not saying it to ourselves. हमें माँ से मांगना है हम अपने आप को नहीं बता रहे हैं ये प्रार्थना करके माँ से हमें मांगना है द वे वी गो टू द टेम्पल और चर्च एंड वी आस्क टू द कॉट इन द सेम वे वी हैव टू आस द कॉट इज इन अवर हाउस द टेम्पल इज अवर हाउस एंड वी हैव टू आस जिस तरह हम मंदिर में जाते हैं चर्च में जाते हैं और परमात्मा से मांगते हैं उसी हिसाब से हमारे घर में भी यही मंदिर माँ के सामने बैठे हैं उनसे मांगना है प्रार्थना करनी है शु माता जी हे आदि शक्ति माँ बाय योर ग्रेस प्लीज मेक मी इनोसेंट श्रीमाता जी ये आदि शक्ति माँ आपकी कृपा से मुझे अवबोधित बनाएंगे श्रीमाता जी ये आदि शक्ति माँ आपकी कृपा से मुझे अवबोधित बनाएंगे श्रीमाता जी आदिशक्ति माँ आप निश्चय ही राक्षसों का नाश करने वाली है श्रीमाता जी आदि शक्ति माँ निश्चय ही आप श्रीमाता जी ये आदि शक्ति माँ आप निश्चय ही राक्षसों का नाश करने वाली है श्रीमाता जी ये आदि शक्ति माँ बाय योर ग्रेस I am the powerful innocence of a child. Shumataji, hey Adi Shakti Ma, by your grace, I am the powerful innocence of a child. Shumataji, hey Adi Shakti Ma, आपकी कृपा से मैं बालक की अबोधिता हूँ. Shumataji, hey Adi Shakti Ma. आपकी कृपा से मैं बालक की अबोधिता
Ginda region in Muradhar, and the, the prayer which Shubhadeh is talked about to awaken Sri Ganesha oh, Shakti within us. We ask Shumataji, Sri Ganesh. I am going to be worthy of your attention. Please make me innocent so that I am in your attention. Shri Mataji, you who are Shri Ganesh, please give me wisdom and discrimination. Shri Mataji, Shri Ganesh, I am going to be worthy of your attention. Please make me innocent so that I am in your attention. Shri Mataji, you who are Shri Ganesh, please give me wisdom and discrimination. Shri Mataji, Shri Ganeshji, Aapke Chitta Paani Ka Patra Barna Chata Hoon. Krupya Mujhe Abodh Banayenge, Taki Aapke Chitta Me Rasako. Shri Mataji, Aap Hi Ganesh Hai, आशीर्वाद दित करें मुझे बुद्धि और विवेक से श्री माता जी श्री गणेश जी आपके चित्त पाने का पात्र बनना चाहता हूं कृपया मुझे अबोध बनाइए ताकि आपके चित्त में रह सकू श्री माता जी आप ही गणेश हैं आशीर्वादित करें मुझे बुद्धि और विवेक से Now we will continue with the Shakti Pitas, the culminating points of divine power. Told by Sri Mataji in London in October 14, 1978, the lecture of Bija Mantra Sri Lalita Sri Chakra on Hampstead, United Kingdom. So there are nine pithas, so the pithas are the sins. The chakras. So we are going to meditate today on Muladhan and Brahmarandra. Brahmarandra is the first pitha from the start and Muladhara is the ninth pitha towards the end. So it starts from the top and ends on Muradhara. Let's pay full attention on Sahasrara. Now Purna Chitta Sahasrara pe rakhe. Param Chaitanya pe rakhe. Shri Mataji pe rakhe aur nirvichar mein hi rahe. Nachit, let's put only our attention on Sastra, on vibrations and Shri Mataji. And just listen. No need to analyze. Listen 
so that the power will work in nirvichara. The first pitha is known as Brahmarandra, which is the central point within Sahasrara. The enclosure is Bindu. The central point, the innermost enclosure, the dot, which is joy giving. The chakra is Sarva Anandamaya. That means the power which gives joy to every created world, in every particle, in every form. The goddess is Sri Lalita, the goddess of beauty. The other goddess, Sri Mahatripura Sundari, the greatest goddess who is beautiful in all the three worlds. Sri Parapara Atirahasya Yogini, the one that is beyond the beyond, who knows all the secrets of that area. Om Tvame Vasaksha Shri Dalita Namonamaha Om Tvame Vasaksha Shri Mahatripur Sundari Namonamaha Om Tvame Vasaksha Shri Parapara Adira Hasi Yogini Namonamaha Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namonamaha Attention on Muladhar and Sarsrana. Apna Chitta Muladhar or Sarsar ki or Kendrika. Muladhara Chakra is the ninth Pita, ninth Sit. The enclosure is Bhupura, the all inclusive square representing all creation. The chakra is Trilokya Mohana, the one who deludes the three realms. The goddess is Sri Tripura, the three worlds. Sri Mahindri, the mother goddess of the Himalayas. Sri Chamunda, the destroyer of the demons Chanda and Munda. Sri Mahalakshmi, the power, the mother goddess of evolution and ascent. The powers is Sri Sarva Sankshobini, the one who burns off everything. Shri Sarva Vidravini, the one who can pervert all. Shri Sarva Akarshini, the one who attracts everyone. Shri Sarva Vashankari, the one who is the controller of all. Shri Sarva Madini, the one who excites everyone. Shri Sarva Mahakusha, the one who controls the Ankusha means the weapon that is used by the elephant driver. So how he controls the elephant the same way she controls all. Shri Sarva Kechari, the one who attracts all. Shri Sarva Bija, the one who is the seed in all. 
Say Sarva Yoni, the one who exists in all the Yonis. Sri Sarva Trikhanda, the one which exists in all three dimensions. Om Dvameva Saksak Shri Mahindri Napo Namaha. Om Dvameva Saksak Shri Chamunda Namo Namaha. Om Dvameva Saksak Shri Mahalakshmi Namo Namaha. Om Dvameva Saksak Shri Sarva Sankshobini Namo Namaha. Om Dvameva Saksak Shri Sarva Vidravini Namo Namaha. Om Dvameva Saksak Shri Sarva Akashini Namo Namaha. Om Dvameva Saksak Shri Sarva Vashankari Namo Namaha. Om Dvameva Saksak Shri Sarva Madini Namo Namaha. Om Dvame Vasaksak Shri Sarva Mahankusha Namo Namaha Om Dvame Vasaksak Shri Sarva Kechari Namo Namaha Om Dvame Vasaksak Shri Sarva Bija Namo Namaha Om Dvame Vasaksak Shri Sarva Yoni Namo Namaha Om Dvame Vasaksak Shri Sarva Trikhanda Namo Namaha Sakshan Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo We have been silently meditating for a few minutes. Enjoy this vibrations and thoughtless awareness due to these prayers and mantras. Nirvicharan better, shanti better. Enjoy this beautiful silence.
we are going to listen to the mantras of Muladhar Chakra.
to listen to the compilation of Shamundi's lectures. In the next 16 minutes, listen carefully, all the points are important. सोलह मिनट में हम आ के बहुत सारे लेक्चर्स के इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट सुनेंगे हर एक पॉइंट महत्वपूर्ण है Ganesha is worshipped first. 
because Ganesha was the first deity that was created by Arishwarya. Because if she has to create something, she was known that there has to be power of innocence. Otherwise, people will go wrong, they will do all kinds of wrong things. So first she created Ganesha, whose innocence, you can call the vibration, are so strong that it controls. Of course, there are people who have abandoned, abandoned completely their innocence and they think right of themselves. That's forget about them. But nobody, nobody, you are always guided by your innocence, whether you are aware of it or not. And that is such a sweet, such a sweet thing that it makes people rise in their nobleness, in their greatness. And that is what we have to develop in us, the surgeons. When surgeons go anywhere, try to do anything, meet anybody, any social work, anything, people should feel that joy that you have within us. It's for that joy only the Arishakti created Shri Narisha. Because that joy, it is a fierce and joy. It doesn't harm anybody. It doesn't expect anything. It doesn't demand anything. It doesn't want anything. But just everything joy all over. That sort of personality you should have. There's nothing wrong in wearing good dresses, nothing wrong in eating good food, nothing wrong in having conversation. But in all that, it is the respect of the innocence, the expression of innocence should be there. With this innocence, we can solve the problems. All the problems of the world can be solved. That's why Sri Narisha is so important. If you do not have proper understanding of Sri Narisha, and if your Sri Narisha is in a jail body, I don't know what can happen to Today, you can see so many horrible diseases are coming because they are not sanctified. The relationships are not sanctified. Every relationship has to be sanctified with your innocence. Like you have a sister, you have a mother, you have a brother, you have a father. You have all these relationships. These all relationships, they are so good, so beautiful and sanctified because where is the relationship of innocence? You love your father out of innocence, and you love your daughter out of innocence. You love your mother out of innocence. Why should you love? For some sort of a gain that is cunning. For some sort of a lamb. Overpowering that is cunning. If just for love, love sake, that's possible if you are innocent. Innocence works out in everything, you see, because everybody has very bit of innocence in everybody, isn't it? So do that, it's like a fifth power, you see. The innocence is the fifth power, didn't it? So if any person is innocent, you see, he will work out on fifth power, and he will make your life. When you give one that to others, what happens? You actually buy me by your innocence. And the poor fellow doesn't know. He has his innocence within him. He captured that innocence. That's all you have done. That's all you have done. It's very simple to work out with Only principle, the top water, whole thing rests on what that work is nothing but innocence. So try to develop this by all these things that make you make you a generic people more of it. So I say not peace, not peace, not peace, not peace, not peace. Draw your thumbs. Not peace, not peace, not peace, not peace. You reach there. Not mine, not mine, not mine, not mine. You reach there. And that is how it is. And you see, the whole material world is now attacking the innocence. Because they're frightened. You cannot attack. Innocence cannot be destroyed. It cannot be destroyed. Innocence is something is called pervading 
and it cannot be destroyed. So whatever people make up, it cannot be destroyed. But it can be covered, it can be seen, but it cannot be destroyed. It will act. It's only. Now many people have a feeling also that we have lost our innocence. That is something, an eternal quality you have got. You never lose your innocence. Maybe as clouds can cover the whole sky, maybe your ego and conditionings and your mistakes might have covered it, but it is always there, always there. Only thing it is for you to respect it. To behave in a manner that you respect your innocence. Not to be shy about your innocence, never. Your innocence itself is a power and your innocence will definitely give you that wisdom by which you can solve all the problems without any difficulty. But in a deeper way, if you see who is Sri Ganesha, he is the child of Adishakti. She created him from the Omkara. Now, Omkara is the longer such you call it. In the first sound, when Sadashiva and Adishakti separated for creation. That sound is used as Omkara, which are vibrations which have light in it, they have all the causes of all the elements. Only on the right side. Then left side it has the power of your emotions. In the center it has the power of your ascent. So it's a very powerful deity we have. And he's playful. Children are seldom cruel. He's not cruel. But if anything is done against the mother, then he goes all wild. Then he punishes. And that is how the divine justice is brought to people. Thus, if we surrender to Sri Ganesh, he protects us, he gives us wisdom, he gives a proper understanding, the protocol of the mother. He does not know any other deity but his mother. He doesn't bother about any other deity but his mother. And he knows that she is the most powerful deity. And this is his wisdom which must be imbibed. When you pray, you must try to imbibe that. That Sri Ganesha, please be kind and merciful and forgiving that you manifest within ourselves. Let all these hypocritical things, all these conditionings and all these wrong ideas we have or all the wrong life we have had, should just disappear like thin air and let the beautiful moonlight of your soothing qualities of innocence be manifested through us. So preserve your innocence. In these modern times it's very important to preserve your innocence that Sri Ganesh should be awakened within you and also in other people. That is going to save this world. Nothing else but the innocence that you have is going to save the world. Whatever you may know, whatever you may say, whatever you may write, please see that you are not hurting. The innocence 
religion. It's not necessary to lead a life of morality, it is that. What is needed is your innocence. Innocence itself gives you moral strength, moral understanding. You don't have to read books for that. You don't have to go to any guru for that. Innocence will guide you and tell you that this is what is Sahaj, this is what you have to have. You all have got realization. It's a very big thing that has happened to so many people. And I always want you to worship Sri Ganesh within you. Sri Ganesh is your innocence, it is the spirit within you. When you want to do your spirit, it is Sri Ganesha, you become one. One with Sri Ganesh. It is within you and it is absolutely possible for all of you to be completely uh, enlightened by the power of Sri Ganesha. So let us try to be innocent within us. Be proud that we are innocent. We need not be smart people. Smartness is your mental attitude and innocence is your innate quality which is connected with this all-pervading power. So may God bless you all.
श्री गणेश जी से एक कर दीजिए और मेरे मस्तिष्क को मेरे आत्मा से मैं समा दीजिए मेरे आत्मा को मेरे मस्तिष्क में समा दीजिए Shri Mataji, for this year of 2019, for the Central Path Meditation, thank you, Shri Mataji, for allowing us to do this meditation 
every day and giving us an opportunity and time to meditate. And thanks to all the Sahajakis who have helped us, who have cooperated us in this year, in 2019, by participating in meditation and helping us in all the way. Jai Shri Mataji to all and Happy New Year to all the Sahajakis. Jai Shri Mataji.